Now you know I was going to do a video reply to this. The funny part about this, this is not my first re video reply to this. You know you sent me um, Homeboy's video. And Homeboy's, in the reply to his video, um, I spoke of the addiction to YouTube. Um, one thing I don't like doing is doing a video twice, and you know that. So I had to watch your video to get a different perspective. Then I left the room, but I know what you're saying. So I'm going to go ahead and do it based on what I remember from your video and what I've watched of yours. I know the premise of this movement you're starting, because this is a movement. Um, he spoke of addiction, and you spoke of a gang. And to me, it's like this. And you know my videos are all done live. Um, no, no editing. There's no trying to fix what I say. If there's any reply to anything that I've said, then I will make a hundred videos trying to explain myself because uh, that's human nature to say something wrong and to explain yourself. So I want to see if I can remember some of the points that I made in the other video. And now I, I got the timer on my mind, so I have eight minutes to try to tell you what I tried to say earlier. And four minutes. I only did four minute video last time. And my allergies are kicking. So this is what's happening with this YouTube. Um, the other guy spoke of YouTube as an addiction. And YouTube is an addiction. And you say, all of us say we're leaving and we always stay. How many times have I told you I was leaving when I've only started a few months ago? I have actually physically, I have left YouTube three times. Three times. I did a video that people always bring me back. Um, I'm going to touch on one of the, the, the greatest points I remember in that video I did earlier on the subject that has been lost. So this is what I said. YouTube is an addiction because people get high off the negativity. You can talk about your kitten. You know, I have a kitten named Fluffy. And, you know, me and Fluffy go to the beach. And like I said in the other video, there'll be somebody respond back to you. You and your cat need to go fuck yourselves. So then you make another video. You can talk about some girl getting beat up or, or the cops pulling somebody over. And then you'll read the bottom of the replies, you stupid fucking nigger. You know, you guys always use the race card. And it hurts your feelings. And then you do another video. You do like four or five videos and all you get is negativity. And then you'll do a video and then, you know, you look at your comments and somebody will say thank you. Because uh, without without hearing what you just said you know this would be this way and this would be that way I'm glad you clarified and told the truth and then you're like blown away so you get so much bad and then you, bam you get a good hit and you're like <gasps> and you, you get a buzz off that shit some people get high off the negativity I'm going to make a comment about somebody in your video because I think he gets high off negativity so I won't say nothing about his name I'm going to leave it alone like that some people actually get high off the negative comments because that gives you motivation to do another video. I said that maybe we're being set up. And what I mean by set up is that every time there's something negative, like 80, 85, 95% of the time, there's no person behind that negativity. So in a game of manipulation and mind control and all that good shit, YouTube is the future because TV is changing. A whole bunch of people won't be able to have the digital TV, but they still got these computers and the internet. So you have to look at the new idiot box, the new medium, the new drug of choice is YouTube because people get high off YouTube for various reasons. Some idiots go watch that booty meat because you got a piece of ass shaking in front of the screen for free. I don't want to get into any more. Uh, details about the booty meat because I don't you know I watched a few of them booty videos when I first started using YouTube yeah using YouTube and um yeah that's because my brother showed me that show <laughs> ah no they didn't how the hell is they doing this stuff you know so then me being the man I'm like man where the titties at you know <laughs> then you learn about YouTube there's no nudity and no this and no that no this and no that but out of all the restrictions and everything they've taken out of YouTube or what people can and can't do, people say some foul stuff. And what they say hurts them. And like I said, people uh, gravitate towards negativity. And all the negative statements and, and the hurtful things people say. And, and you look at yourself and you say, I'm tired of this shit. I'm done with this. You know, I don't want to do this anymore. And then you make another video. 
Um, I left and I was gone a couple of days and I came back. I left and I came back for a reason that time. You know, I want to complete some stuff, do some stuff, see if I can get something going. And then I left, like I said, and then I came back. Then I, I did it for a couple of days, got some more negativity, and I'm like, that's it. That's, I'm done. I don't know why I came back again. And then I commented on that dumbass girl in that dress. Now, I don't, still don't want to call her not her name, so I'm sorry to call her dumb now. But I commented on that, saying that maybe they just covered the girl up. I got so much flack off that, and stupid this, and pedophile that, and all this and that shit. I was done. I was completely finished. That was it. I'm done. I'm going to give people 150 videos and walk away. Done. That's it. Get all my final videos and all this and that shit. And, you know, when I called it quits, said I was finished. You know, I away from it for about three days. Going through my little uh, account, just reading stuff, you know. I was like, hey, I might as well look through all these videos people sent me since I'm still on it but not doing no videos today. And then I go through uh, where it says your, your messages. And there's one message that said, please read me. I read the message. And I broke down inside. And your boy's like, oh, no. I can't leave now. And I came back. Um, YouTube, like I said, is the new addiction. It's the new TV, the new idiot box. I mean, if you would have had the original video, I think I, I was even more explicit in certain things from a different direction. Um, I said YouTube was a kind of control um, YouTube is the future of television and you know if you look at the the progression of television you know they told us what kind of people to be in the 60s and the 70s you know that's why all the images of black people were always poor they taught us how to be poor for the 90s <laughs> you know what I mean so I'm um, always trying to move on up and get out of the projects and trying always try never succeed the Huxtables succeeded so now you got so-called black folks that can do something. But then, that was that. The control aspect is this. Whenever you do a video, there's always a negative comment. Sometimes the negative comments are so strong it makes you do another video. And in saying that, that's what I believe the addiction comes from. Always trying to prove somebody wrong. Always trying to prove, you don't know me. Always trying to prove something. Is the way we go. We always have something to prove. And YouTube is a beautiful opportunity for people with no voices to have a voice. And of course, we're being monitored by whoever or whatever entity out there. We might just be stockpiling thousands and thousands of TV shows for when they kill us all, they have something to watch. We don't know. Hmm. I don't like this video, Green, at all. Because this is not feeling, I'm not feeling this video like I was the first time I tried to comment on this. So, I'm going to leave this up here for you for maybe a day or so. Then, after a couple other people jump on, I'll destroy this video and come back with another one. Because I don't like this one. I couldn't get myself across as well as I did the first time. Because I feel like I'm trying to copy off something I said. And I can't do that. Um, I just physically can't repeat myself. Everything I do is off the brain. And if the brain has been deviated off its course in any way, um, you're not going to get the same emotion or the same feeling from the original because I'm thinking now. So the way I do videos, I can see how people can be addicted. Because I'm not a perfectionist. I'm a thinker. And like my father used to say, study long, you study wrong. You know, so right now I'm in this little battle with this nigga named Slickback. So after I do this little Slickback Chronicles, this is going to probably be the same as the Willie Pete Chronicles. I'm going to let that shit go. And then there's going to be somebody else in the jaw off, and then I'm going to be on him for a couple of weeks. And this uh, reality TV that has been built um, to place people against each other and battle of wits and all that shit comes to one conclusion. Only one man can win. The AIX, the real. You've been tubed.